Welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Colangelo. Ladies and gentlemen, it has finally happened. And I'm not talking about my period. I'm two days late. No, I'm talking about a computer, or a computer program rather, has finally made a video game all by itself. Mike Cook, a PhD researcher in London, England, created the software codenamed Angelina. Angelina is an AI game designer that, well, creates video games. Think about it, an artificial intelligence making entertainment for humans all through the creation of video games. I think it's time to buy some Skynet stock. The way it works, Mike Cook decides how big the video game should be. He presses a button on his computer and Angelina does its magic. Angelina even searches on the internet for elements for the video games, like sounds and pictures, all by itself. Even the title of the game is created by Angelina. The strangest one is called Sex, Lies, and Rape. Also, after Angelina makes its creation, it makes sure that a human can beat the game by playing out many scenarios within its software. I got a chance to take some time from my pathetic life to play one of Angelina's games. Roll it! So right off the bat, the, the music's creepy, the sound effects are creepy, uh, the name of the game is To That Sect by Angelina. Uh, I looks like I collect ships and I avoid that weird freaky looking dude with the, the wings. Um, so the way it works is Mike Cook creates a template. He says this is a game about and then Angelina fills in the rest. I'll read the first sentence here for you quickly. This is a game about disgruntled child, a founder. The game only has one level and the objective is to reach the exit, exit along the way. You must avoid the tomb as they kill you and collect the ship. So, and there's also more details about where they got the music and sound effects from, or where Angelina got the music and sound effects from. So let's just play now. So, pink walls, interesting textures. Oh, there's a ship. And my score just went up to one. There's another ship. Two. Weird. It's just weird. And the sound just stopped. Going down this hallway. And it's a dead end, just like my life. Ah, another boat. Looks like the cruise ship that my parents going on every year. Oh, there's a big yellow thing there. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. One more boat. Score of four. I'm not even going to go close to that weird statue. It's creeping me out. And then I assume this is the exit. Level complete. It stinks! Now, as you can see, the technology is not perfect yet. But one of the first flights by the Wright brothers in December 17th, 1903, only lasted 12 seconds and had an altitude of 37 meters. New technology is usually far from perfect, but anyone with half a brain can see the potential. Now Angelina has made many games, but the game that I just played was the first that had a strict theme and was entered into a video game creation contest competing with real human game designers. So what does this mean for the future of game design? Well perhaps gaming engines will be integrated with artificial intelligence like Angelina, where game developers enter in the guidelines of what they want and the AI does the rest, possibly creating something a human brain couldn't even fathom. But it really does raise the question. Do we play video games, read books, and watch movies to make connections with other humans? And I'm not talking about multiplayer. I'm talking about seeing a new world or a vision through someone else's eyes. Or what if the AI became so good that making connections with humans through video games didn't matter anymore? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you'd like a more detailed explanation of Angelina, I'll leave a link in the description below and also a link to her games that she's made already. I should stop referring to it as her, it's an it. It's got no woohoo, it's got no VJJ. Check out her games, play them. Check out its games, play them. Actually, some of them are pretty fun, actually. It's a birdhouse, Brainiac. There's only one hole. You could follow me on Twitter anytime you'd like. I will keep you up to date with gaming news, my videos, and my personal thoughts about euthanasia. The last part was a joke, and a bad one. And of course, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm always uploading videos for you. I work for you. Um, no one feeds me. In case you're wondering, I was feeling fancy, so I got an Earl Grey tea latte. That's right. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. What about you? Let me know your thought. Oh, you asshole.